So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So here we are in this Cadillac CTS. Uh, I think it's an 05 or an 06. And uh, it's kind of a new customer. They came in with a running condition, ended up the catalytic converters had melted down and were completely clogged. Engine was also had no oil in it when it came in for those. Uh, Paul over there, there's Paul doing his magic. He, uh, he replaced the catalytic converters. It ran great. He put oil, changed the oil, put fresh oil in it, and we let it go car went about 40 miles 40 miles after that and I uh, came back on the hook sounding like uh, like this so yeah that's uh, that's a problem that, that right there is a problem so it came back on the hook. Um, I guess the story is they had just put a motor in this. They had another shop or some private guy. They didn't really explain it too well. Had a motor replaced in this car 100 miles ago maybe, maybe a little more, and uh, ran low on oil. And now yeah, you have what you have here after we did a repair. Now uh, the customer said they can't go back to get any help from whoever put the motor in. They said that's not an option. So here they are in my bay. And I got to put a motor in. 20 hour job. 20 hours to pull this motor. Uh, and just like typically we do, we get a recycled engine sitting back here. Uh, let me take a quick look at it. We got a recycled engine with a warranty on it. So if anything goes wrong, the customer's covered, we're covered. You know, the usual way we do these. The same LKQ. It's a good company. We always do business with them. So if we have any trouble, you know, we spend enough money that they're willing to help us out or take care of us but yeah here's the uh, the tag off the original one 2.8 liter v6 and uh, yeah not supposed to be the easiest engine to change in the world but uh, I think that time lapse is gonna make it look it so yeah I gotta stop talking and get wrenching let's uh let's get this one out of the cabbage guys <laughs> Thank you. 
part, the engine put back together, everything swapped over. I apologize, it's kind of a big job. I didn't have a lot of time to move the time-lapse camera like I normally do around. Uh, this is actually probably the most I've ever had to take apart to do an engine. I've never had to take an ABS module out. Uh, this is the brake, analog brake system module. Uh, you can see the brake lines stay in up here to the front wheels. I had to take the rears and leave them in the car, um, the lines that is. Just as the way this would have been assembled at the factory and then put into the car. Uh, it, it, some, some people might say, oh, you can take this out the top. I saw some YouTube videos where people had taken the motor out the old fashioned way with an engine hoist, but everything's so tight. By the time you're done, you, you're gonna beat your hands up. You're gonna be crammed in there working on stuff. At least here, you can get right at the starter. You know, I had to take the cats off. You get right at the starter to get the torque converter bolts out and the motor mounts are real easy to get in like this. I can imagine if this was, you know, in the car, this probably would have taken just as long, but a lot more frustrating. Uh, there's the old engine out right there. All in all, uh, a long job, a lot of stuff to take off, but not really hard. Uh, there's nothing really hard when you do it this way. You can see up in the hole, big open spot. This is what it would have looked like coming down on the assembly line, and the body would have been dropped onto the front power frame. And that's what we're going to do now. Anyways, guys, I've still got a long way to go and i got other cars to fix after this one, so right, right, right at it.